I'm standing here uh, near a very futuristic uh, car. If I uh, understand correctly, it, uh, w uh, it runs on air. Can you tell us something about this and can you also introduce yourself? Uh, yes, I'm uh, Cyril Neg, responsible of uh, the calculation office of MDI company. And MDI company is developing this car. And uh, the airport and the car we are developing are working with compressed air. So instead to have batteries, what we are doing, we are storing energy into compressed air tanks. Um, in respect to electric cars, the advantages are that we can uh, charge these kind of cars within two minutes, which is very rapid having an air station. And concerning the efficiency, we are around the same figures of the electric car concerning CO2 production from uh, tank to wheel and uh, uh, also from plug to wheel. And uh, this is because this system, even if uh, a compressed air engine has a lower efficiency than the uh, uh, electric engine, at the end, as this, this car is lighter than electric technology, at the end of the wheel we have a better efficiency. So this kind of car can be driven when we're going to sell them uh, to sell them in uh, January, February. The range will be around 140 to 200 kilometers, depending on how we drive these cars. Okay, uh, this is a very small car. I think it's uh, from uh, KLM, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but uh, is it also possible to use it in a normal uh, car? Yes, we are developing also bigger car than the airport. The airport is just two meter long with three people inside because it's been designed really for the city. This is for mobility. But then we are developing also some other cars. Another one is the one floor with five people inside. Seems to be like, uh, I don't know if you know the Citroën Meari in France, the old Citroën, mm -hmm. maybe the same kind of cars. But because this kind of car has to be like to have a good efficiency. Okay. And can you also, the, I, what I heard is that uh, the, one of the disadvantages of a an, uh, an, uh, car on air is that it can freeze in the winter. Is that uh, how, how did you do you handle this type of uh, problems? Uh, we've developed a lot the system of the engine and also the circuit from the air tank to the engine and today there's no freezing problem. The only thing is that at the exhaust the temperature is very cold so it is minus 20 degrees and we are using this air to cool the inside to do the air conditioning so air conditioning is free on this kind of cars. But also what we've not said is that this kind of technology one of the advantages is that's a lot cheaper than what we can find today on the market with same efficiencies. For example this kind of car the airport will be sold around six to seven thousand euro and the one flower around four thousand euros so that's uh, quite impressive uh, do, you, do you think this uh, type of car can be used anywhere in Europe or is it more used uh, better used to in a uh, warmer climates uh? no it, it's going to be used uh, everywhere in Europe uh, even because uh, concerning the heating system of these cars we are developing a dual energy car that gives more range to the car and this produce also heat so there's no problem it can be used in, even in cold country okay. uh, is it also uh, already available on the market uh? No, we're going to start the production in January or February uh, next year of the airport. We have done the certification tests. It's just a matter of uh, administration paper now. I think that within one week or two weeks, certification will be okay. So then after, we are preparing in the same time, in parallel, the, the tooling process to develop this car and to produce it. And uh, in January, we can start with press area and February, we can sell them. Yeah. Oh, very impressive. Thank you very much for the interview and uh, good luck with your uh, project. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Okay.